Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a collective haul of vintage costume home sewing patterns I purchased in 2018. I began purchasing these patterns in April 2018 from various sources. I decided to make the cutoff date for me to purchase these patterns in this haul, September 2018, so I can post the video just in time for Halloween. There are many pattern brands in this haul, as well as patterns from different decades. The first pattern I purchased is McCall's pattern number 8896. This pattern is copyrighted from 1997, and I actually owned another version of this pattern back in the late 90s. The difference between the pattern I purchased in the 1990s and this one is my old pattern is in children's sizes. I know I'm dating myself, but I was a kid back in the 90s and wanted to make the pattern with my mom for Halloween one year. That ended up not happening, but back then I decided I wanted the adult pattern so I could make it when I got older. Now that I'm an adult and wanted to purchase some vintage costume patterns, it was the first pattern I searched for and purchased. The next group of patterns are part of a set of vintage patterns I bought off Etsy. I bought these patterns because the set had two patterns I wanted. After browsing Etsy for these patterns, I realized it cost less to buy the set instead of purchasing the two patterns I wanted separately. The first two, or shall I say three, patterns are Butterick pattern number 4260 and Simplicity pattern number 6787. Both patterns are the reason I wanted to purchase this set of costume patterns. The reason I wanted them is because both patterns are bicentennial costume patterns and are from 1976. I'm familiar with the costumes from the 1700s, and although these patterns are not historically accurate, I think they really are neat. The set had one simplicity pattern and two Butterick patterns in two different sizes. The next pattern is Butterick pattern number 4585. This pattern is a similar style to the bicentennial patterns, but is not an official bicentennial pattern. I don't mind that it's not from 1976, and I'm happy to add it to my pattern collection. The next pattern is Butterick pattern number 4286. It is a children's pattern for 1950s style pool skirts. 
It's super cute, and I hope to use it one day to make someone a poodle skirt. The next two patterns are Butterick pattern number 3372 and McCall's pattern number 5665. Both are children's patterns and have already been cut and used. The Butterick pattern is in good shape and can still be used, but the McCall's pattern is missing pieces. The next pattern is by far the oldest pattern in the set and the oldest costume pattern in this haul. It is a McCall's pattern number 7223 and is a Raggedy Ann and Andy children's costume pattern from 1964. I don't know if I will ever use it because I'm afraid to cut into it, but I think it sure is interesting to look at and read the instructions. The last vintage pattern I purchased is McCall's pattern number 8449. This pattern is for medieval costumes and includes sizes for children as well as adults. Like with the first pattern in this haul, I owned this pattern when I was a girl and is one of the few patterns I made when I was growing up. I really loved the costume, but I outgrew the costume as well as wore parts of it until it fell apart. While searching for vintage patterns on Etsy, I found the adult version of this pattern. It didn't cost a lot of money, so I bought it. Well, that's all I have to show you. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit the like button and feel free to subscribe. Take care. Goodbye.